Afrin, welcome back to e Historiata. We introduce you to yet another master artist lending his time and talent to perpetuate our culture and represent Guam in the Festival of Pacific Arts. Hi, uh, good morning. Uh, my name is Greg Penglin, I'm one of the master carvers. I've been carving for so many years, like probably I started carving when I was 13 years old, yeah. Then I just continued. Yeah. Uh, the reason, uh, uh, the reason uh, how I started the uh, carving is uh, when I, I started working for a land surveyor. That's how I started carving. To pass time, Pangolinan said he taught himself how to carve. Well, I'm waiting for them to finish their, their comp uh, competition. You know, I started, you know, uh, you know, I have my machete, my uh, pocket knife, and my, you know, of course, I always carry knives. So I, I started carving on, on trees. Yeah. So that's uh, when, when I'm done with that, they're finished. You know, because it takes them like two to three hours because they were using that manual uh, freedom calculator, which we carry that inside the jungle. So by the time they're done, I'm done of what I'm doing. And they say, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Is that real? <laughs> I just finished it. Yeah. So that's how I started. Pangolinan's role in the Festival of Pacific Arts is to head up a special project that will unite all of the island nations participating in FESPAC. It's a unity project. It's a maybe like 10 to 12 foot uh, feet uh, big of a unity project. And all the island 27 nations should have, should have those, uh, you know, like a lattice stone you know, that I'm gonna, I'm gonna count on. And every one of them should uh, walk up and put it where, where the, uh, the, uh, where they're gonna place on, on the laddie stone. Yeah. It's, it's gonna be really nice. The laddie was chosen because it is an important icon to the history of the Chamorro people. It was used for homes, meeting places, and canoe houses. The laddie is comprised of two sections, the haligi or pillar, and the tassa, the capstone. The idea is each delegation would have their own distinct ladi representing their culture. Although Pangolinan is heading up the Unity Project, he is a master carver. This will be his fifth time participating in a fest pack. I've been always tasked to do carvings. I did, uh, I did Palau, the peace board, and the, uh, and the uh, totem pole. That's during Jana Sablan. Yeah. So, you know, I've been doing that. No matter where I go, Kaha, Kaha should say, uh, will, will look for me and say, Great, it's time for you to carve. I just pick up anything and carve. And especially, you know, like uh, to show them how to carve uh, a marine life out of coconut. It's, and they really like it, you know, when I'm carving turtle. And I just give it away when I'm done. Double turtle. I can carve on a one whole coconut, big one, like four turtles. Four turtles. Then I started carving on uh, on seashells. Right, right uh, after I retired, one PA. But I've been carving for you know before I retire. Yeah, I've been carving you know like bones, seashells, woods, and whatnot a lot. You know, so it's a challenging for me to even when I start carving on meadows. I even I even carve on metals, knife, and I carve knife inside the knife that I carve. Yeah, it's challenging for me. You know, like I said, I started from uh, you know from wood, seashells, bo uh, bones, and also uh, the stalactite right here that you see. I make replica of our uh, of our you know way of uh, way before you know when there were when they were grinding corns and rice, you know. This is what, uh, those are replicas. And even for that lomok right there, then the lattice stone, I talk about that. How do they use lattice stone? Then I, I make sinais and everything, which is, uh, which is, the, uh, this is the, uh, uh, the biggest sinai that I ever make. And uh, this one has a meaning to this, because like uh, some of the contestants here, they were, uh, use this as one of their native native wear. You know, like they hold it, and plus, you know, I have the sponges right there. Yeah. 
Like other Guam master artists, Pangolinan is passing on his art to those willing to learn. I have successful apprentices and they are good, especially what my son also, that they take after me. They, <laughs> it's so funny that when they see the work that, uh, you know, that he had, it just looked like exactly what it, yeah. So I'm proud of them. And I'm proud of all my, my students. Yeah, especially there's one uh, university student that like, like every day he'll be here break uh, uh, lunch time after school or before to go to school he will stop by and say that uh, great can you can you just show me one thing here quick so I can go to so I can go back to school said okay no and then I, I tell him what to do he comes back A1. <laughs> yeah his name is Roman Roman uh, Duenas yeah he's you know he comes over like practically every day I'm open to any any student that comes over even Japanese students are coming over yeah, they're learning our, they're learning all the carvings that, I, that I'm doing. Every year they'll come over like probably two times a year. No matter of fact, they're going to be here during the fest, uh, during the fest back. They already come. But the sun is beginning to be better than me. <laughs> <laughs> I want it to be better than me. I want all my students to be better than me. Yeah. I've, like I said, I've been doing this for more than 40, 50 years old. I'm, right now I'm 66. <laughs> Stay tuned, Ehistoriata continues with another feature on a master artist of Guam.